Welcome back to GearWire.com. This is the Zoom B2.1U. Uh, the 2.1U is part of uh, Zoom's compact multi-effects pedal unit. This one is specifically made for bass. Uh, the 2.1 means that it also has this expression pedal, and the U means that there is a USB out on the back of the pedal. There's also a direct XLR out. There's an input for uh, an additional control pedal. And there's also just mono in and out, just a mono effects pedal. Uh, basically, uh, like all the other uh, Zoom compact multi effects units, it's got a little drum machine built in with a bunch of different patterns. Uh, and the editing is basically the same. Uh, there's a bunch of different uh, sort of cabinet, or, or rather, amp emulators. There's distortion pedal emulators. Uh, there's a even like a synth bass, which you just heard, that was sort of uh, married with uh, a sequenced wah, like the Zvex Seek wah. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, let's just kind of go through a bunch of the presets mm -hmm. and listen to what they've got. So uh, they've broken it down into four basic preset areas. Uh, there's 80 patch sections. Uh, there's 40 that are user editable. Uh, and all the ones that start with a letter, A, B, C, and D, are the ones that are the factory presets that you cannot edit, that you can't save over. So let's just listen to those uh, factory presets. Um, going down to A0, which is the first of the factory presets, they just call this rock. This is, uh, they say it's based on the ultimate rock bass amp, the Ampeg SVT. This sound is great for both finger playing and when using a pick. Uh, so you get a little bit of that sort of grit. That's sort of the, uh, you know, their, their amp emulation. If we move on to the next one here, already you can hear the phaser going on. Uh, and they just call it phaser slap. There seems to be a lot of noise going on in the background. Uh, the pedal right here controls the phaser rate. Moving on to the next patch, A2, which they call No Holds Barred, is just one of the distortion models in there. Sorry for all the noise, I don't know what's doing that. Now we've also got an auto one here. Uh, there's this next patch called A4 has basically the best patch name. It just says yes with an exclamation point. Uh, there's also one, oh, you hear that little delay? You control the delay volume with the pedal in this patch. This is a noisy pedal. Now, the next section is called uh, modeling, and that starts at B0, and actually the first B0 patch is called SVT, which is, well, basically the same as the rock patch that was at A0 maybe with a little bit more gain. I'm playing with a pick now, too. Uh, there's also an SWR. 
sound. Uh, the next one is uh, Super Bass, which is based on the Marshall Super Bass. Which if you're a fan of Lemmy, you know exactly what it sounds like. Uh, and there's a bunch more. They've got the Trace Elliott head, a bass man. Uh, the B4 is the bass man. Well, let's move on to the next section, which is called the artist section. Uh, this one is, uh, it's not necessarily artist endorsed. Man, you guys hearing that? Ah, there we go. So it is, there's, there's a little bit of noise on this pedal. Um, this, uh, that C1 is supposed to be uh, emulating the, uh, the Boss ODB3, which we demoed uh, like a week ago. And then C2 models a fuzz face. There it is. Anyway, um, so let's go to C4, which is supposed to be modeled after Flea's uh, slap bass sound. We can hear there's a pretty intense compressor that's uh, uh, engaged on this one. The expression pedal does nothing. So that's a pretty cool sounding preset. Uh, if we move over to something called Boot C, which is C5, uh, this is a, a Bootsy Collins emulator using an auto wah. And uh, we've got one that's called Leadist, uh, which is based on Tony Levin. I don't know if I know any Tony Levin lines. Uh, let's uh, move on to the last section, which is called variation. Uh, here's where you get a sense of some of the sort of crazier effects that are built into the B2.1U. Uh, D2 is basically a synth bass. Now it's just a sort of direct bass tone with a little bit of amp emulation, but when you kick the expression pedal up, if we go to D4, we've got a uh, an octave down. Which tracks pretty well, actually. Uh, and let's just move on to one more thing here, which I got to try out. It's called Les Thumbs, which you might want to read as Lay Thumbs, but it's actually supposed to be modeled on the typical slap style, it says, of Primus frontman Les Claypool. It combines a TS9, which is a tube screamer, and a resonance filter. <laughs> Thank you. 
-hmm. Now, the resonance filter stuff is sort of more, uh, he used it more in his later albums, like it's all over Electric Uncle Sam. Uh, so let's kind of turn that off and just listen to this sound here. I guess we got to turn it off like this. There we go. I guess you can't turn it off. Well, that's a very specific Les Claypool sound. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is just a taste of some of the presets in the Zoom P2.1U. Uh, all of the user presets now, all the just simply numbered uh, presets are all editable. You've got that drum machine built in, uh, direct out, USB out for recording direct. This does come packaged with Cubase LE, so you can kind of use it as a real rudimentary interface for just recording some bass lines into Cubase. Uh, so there you go. You've been watching GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. Thanks for checking out the Zoom B2.1U.